Hello? Anybody here? We're coming aboard. Coming aboard? What would you say? Not that. I haven't been out to Chelsea Piers in years. Of course, I could say the same of just about anywhere these days. Joey, my ever-present shadow. I got these business cards made up a few months ago. They glow in the dark. It's so cool. I've had it with this low-profile stuff, although it's not the conversation starter I thought it would be. I thought about putting my phone number on here but figured it was a bad idea. Leftover change from the coffee I bought before we came here. We use this to help lost ghosts move on. It's the only part of me that Red can touch. When I feel like it, I can conjure up a strong breeze. Not much of a power, but it sure passes the time in supermarket checkout lines. It says... Ryan and June? Guess it's some couple. Get over here, I got something to say. What is it, Joey? Times like this, I wish I still had a nose. There's nothing quite like the smell of sea spray. It's grimy and polluted, Joey. Count yourself lucky. Shucks, darling. You really know how to make a fella glad he's dead. I don't know if it's important or not, but people don't usually write their names on boats without a good reason. You think the boat belongs to someone named Ryan? Most likely. Looks like we got two choices, the control room or the main cabin. Either looks good to me. Then let's get cracking. All right, let's get back to it. Sure. Locked. Creepy. Just our kind of place. Anybody here? Hmm. Anything? Nothing yet? What the heck was that? Yeah, I noticed. There's nobody on board but us. Yeah, I noticed that too. So we've definitely got a ghost. Yeah, we do. We're going west, so that's got to be the George Washington Bridge. I have a question, Joey. Yeah? I've always wanted to go on a harbor cruise, but never quite like this. At least you didn't have to pay admission. A haunted boat. Yep. A haunted boat. Seems so. We're on a boat, and it's haunted. This is just sinking in? That's all for now. Yeah. Sleeping on a boat makes my stomach churn. Hey, Joey. Looks like I found a ghost. You're going to say spirits, aren't you? Er, uh, maybe. I'm just gonna pretend you never said anything. Looks like it was poured and never drank. The last time I drank on the job, it didn't end too well. Although, believe me, I'm tempted. There's something funny about this wall. Who's there? Somebody's piloting this tub and it's not me. I knew it. That suit should have been abandoned 20 pounds ago. It's a key. Looks like it's about to fall off that peg. 
Hey, chum, how's Trix? What? what? How did you get here? I just wanna... Get off my boat! Get off or I'll shoot you dead! <laughs> right. Look, why don't you put that toy down and... Ow! What the hell? That hurt! Get off! Listen. Whoa! Hey, alright, I'm going. Joey, what was that noise? Are you okay? I'm fine. Yeah. Looks like we got a spook after all. And he's packing heat. You mean he's got a gun? Were you shot? Yeah. Sorta. Sorta? What happened? Does it hurt? Stings a lot, yeah. But it's going away now. It's the way... Got it. I can't see anything in there. I can't see anything from down here. A tag on the key reads, Bridge. Fits perfectly. Hey, what the hell are you doing here? Talk fast. Whoa, relax. I'm just here to talk. Talk? Talk is cheap, and so is life. Hey, wait, no! Huh? I shot you. How are you still standing? I'm so glad that worked. My name's off. It's gotta be the stress. Who are you? I'm, uh... I'm a friend. I want to help you. Help me? Did someone from the bank send you? Bank? What bank? What bank? You don't know? I'm afraid not. You're serious? You don't even know who I am, do you? So, what do I do with you? You don't look like a cop, and you're not with the bank. That only leaves... Oh, I get it. You're a stowaway, aren't you? Boy, did you choose the wrong boat. Look, I have no time to deal with this right now. I'm not going to shoot you again. Just go below and stay out of my way. Excuse me. What do you want? I'm busy. Is your name Ryan by any chance? What's it to you? Oh, nothing. Just making conversation. I'm Rose Angela, by the way. Great! Now leave. So, tell me about June. What do you know about her? Nothing. I just saw the engraving on the side of the ship. Just get out of here, okay? Well, talk to you later. Mm -hmm. Just stay out of my way. There's something funny about this wall. Holy moolah! Will you look at that? There's gotta be over a million dollars in there. I know it's tempting, kid, but I say leave that alone. Nobody ever leaves that kind of dough just lying around. Nobody we want to meet anyway. Don't worry, Joey. I'm not stupid. It's just... Wow. I've never seen so much money. I know, dear. I know. You can look, but don't touch. No, Joey's right. There's something fishy about this money. Stacks of hundred dollar bills. There must be over a hundred of them. Hmm. That's interesting. Each stack has the same wrapper around them, and they all have the same letters printed on them. GCT. 
What's that? Sounds like a clue to where the money came from. Hmm. GCT could stand for a bank's name. Easy enough to find out. Time for a little cross-referencing. Thought so. There are a lot of GCTs out there, but only the Grant City Trust seems to be a bank. Excuse me. What, what do, you do you want? want? I'm, I'm busy. busy. I know about the Grant City Trust. What, what about, about them? them? I know you robbed them. Yeah, yeah well, it, it doesn't, doesn't matter, matter if you know. They, they can't, can't catch, catch me now. You used to work for them, didn't you? You bet I did. Thirty years of service, and they were going to lay me off without a second thought. Well, I certainly showed them. I just gotta get to Boston. Once I get there, I am free and clear. Boston? What's in Boston? I have a cousin with a private plane. That's what. Once I get to Boston, I'm going to dump this yacht and take a one-way trip to anywhere. So you're not stopping until we get to Boston? Not a chance. So make yourself comfortable. So how far are we from Boston now? Well, let's see. According to my satellite navigation system, we are still in New York. We have a while to go yet. Good thing nobody is following us. Ah, right. Looks like I'm screwing with airborne signals again. Whatever this thing is, it's flickering like mad. One of those modern... This screen says we're in... Antarctica? So much for modern contraptions. One of those modern gizmos. I don't know how it works. The screen says we're a few miles from Greece. Right. One of those modern... The screen says we're floating in the Gulf of Mexico. I don't think so. One of those mo... The screen says we're just outside of Boston. Stupid machine. Looks like a satellite navigation system. It reads our position from a satellite. The map on the screen shows our position as just outside of Boston Harbor. Excuse me. What, what do, you do you want? want? I'm, I'm busy. busy. So how far are we from Boston now? Well, let's, let's see. see. According, According to my satellite system, navigation system, we are... <laughs> Look at that. According to this, we're a mile outside of Boston Harbor. I feel like I've been piloting this boat near forever. 
I've got to go on deck and take a look. What a beautiful sight this is going to be. I wouldn't know where to begin. Ryan. That's the George Washington Bridge. That's right. This isn't Boston. No, it's not. How is this possible? How can I still be in New York? I've been piloting this boat for I don't know how long. I must have left New York waters by now. How long, Ryan? What? Just how long have you been piloting this boat? I don't know. I grabbed the money a few hours after closing time. That must have been 9 p.m.? I came straight to the boat, so it's only been a few hours. Right? I hid the money down below. I set out. And then, I heard sirens. The harbor police on the bullhorn. They boarded. No, no, they didn't get me. They couldn't have. I was so desperate to get away. I had my gun. I missed. They shot back. That's all I remember. They did get me. I'm sorry, Ryan. For 30 years, they made me bleed. And they finally killed me once and for all. Excuse me, this is a lot to take in. Hey, Ryan. I'm gonna have to ask you to take this. What is it? It's to help you on your way. My... way? Yes, Ryan. It's time for you to move on. <sighs> yes, I guess it's time. I think... I think I went a bit mad. It's all so clear to me now. My wife died. Did I tell you about that? Her name was June. Yes, cancer. And it wasn't pretty. But when she died, I kind of lost it. My work suffered quite a bit. Maybe they had no choice but to fire me, but I thought that 30 years of service was worth something. I guess I was wrong. Strange. Why is this all so obvious to me now that I'm dead? I wish I knew. Still. The bank will never get their money back. I made sure they paid for that, at least. We found the money. We'll have to return it to them. I know that's the right thing to do, but you won't get the chance. Then what are you talking about? You'll find out. June, if you're out there, I'm coming. Say, darling, you wouldn't know how to pilot this floating crate, would you? No. Why? Because we've increased speed by, uh, a lot, and we're headed straight towards the Jersey Shore. What? Is that what he meant? What who meant? Never mind. All these buttons are Greek to me. What do we do? Can you swim? No good. Nothing I do works. Joey. No time, kid. Abandon ship. Hey, careful. I don't want to look. Oh, God. Oh, God. You ready? No. Jump. Ah! I can't take you anywhere. Shut up. I'm wet, I'm filthy, and I'm in New Jersey. Relax, will ya? We saved another one. Score another point for us. Yeah. That yacht is completely totaled. The two million bucks as well. We are so not getting paid. Not one lead cent. <sighs>
crashed into the New Jersey City dock wall. Fortunately, nobody was injured. Who'd be calling me now? Joey, could you, uh... Right, right. Hello? Hi, is this Rosangela? Yes, who's this? It's been a while. This is Jeremy Sams. Jeremy? Oh, Jeremy, yeah. Are you still at the Village Eye? Oh, God, no. I left there a year ago. I work at the City Post now. Really? That's a big step up. Congratulations. Thanks. I actually hoped you could help me with an article I'm working on. Me? I've come down with the flu or something really bad. I need to follow up on some interviews and the window is closing. Can you help? Come on. You'll be paid and you can share the byline. Well, tell me what it is first. Awesome. Come on over and we'll chat. Thanks a mil, Rosangela. So, we're moonlighting as reporters now? I used to work with Jeremy. He's okay. And the extra money won't hurt. The City Post is a pretty important paper. Maybe they'll want a spiritual news column. I doubt it. Joey used to screw with my reception, so I finally got cable TV installed. 70 bucks a month and nothing's ever on. Out of sight, out of mind. You never know when you'll need a cup of instant. I can't remember the last time I cooked with that. It's getting to the point where I should put the Chinese takeout place on speed dial. I got this one a few months ago. It's doing pretty well. This African ghost drum is supposed to keep ghosts away when you play it. It, um, doesn't. I used to stare into that thing for hours. Still do sometimes. It's Griff, the P.I. Bear. He's 30 years old but doesn't look a day over 20. I sold most of my books after getting my phone. This thing is perfect for reading on the subway. My radio listening day stopped when Joey came along. It was here when I moved in. It's probably older than I am. My end table, full of random junk. It's the bedroom door. It's just trash. It's broken, but it looks good on the wall. Just some old articles, bills, and reminders. Nothing important. Since I got my phone, I only use this for writing. I haven't changed the month in ages. I'll change the month later. The article is titled, The Rise and Fall of the Meltzer Foundation. I didn't write it, but I did kind of make it happen. Since I got my phone, I only use this for writing. This building doesn't have a doorman anymore, so they put in these buzzers. I don't need to buzz anyone in. It's a poster for a movie called Water Under the Bridge. It's the last article I ever wrote for the Village Eye newspaper. It was about three college kids who committed suicide. It's fine where it is. It's fine where... It's fine... I don't need any of the... It's broken, but it looks good on the wall. I don't have time to do any writing. And if I need to use the internet, I've got my phone. I don't need anything from that table. I sold most of my books after this. Those are old first editions. I don't want to mess with them. Better leave him alone. I don't want anything to happen to him. I've had this one for about 10 years now. I suppose it's due for a trim. Better not touch this one. It's precarious enough as it is. You're not supposed to shake it. That ruins it. I can't think of anything I'd want to watch. I'll relax later. I don't need to move it. It's fine where it is. It doesn't need watering. It's doing fine. I don't plan on doing any cooking. I don't need to boil any water. I'll relax later. I'll relax. It seats too, but I usually eat here alone. Well, sort of. A few months ago, they tore down the building across the way. They're building another one, but in the meantime, it's nice to have a view. I don't need to open the window. Not bad. 
Just between you and me, I think I'll stay inside. Just the kitchen table. Just cooking stuff. Nope, still a ghost. Still can't pick that up. What do you want me to do, blow on it? Nothing much in those things. Give me just a second, I'm gonna add that to my list of things I cannot touch. I don't know why she keeps this. She's not exactly musically inclined. What do you want me to do, blow on it? Brightens up the place, I suppose. Can't do anything with that. One of those flat windows that folks call televisions. What do you want me to do, scare it? Held together with duct tape and a prayer. Don't know what I can do with it. Tackiest thing I've ever seen. What am I supposed to do, sing to it? I'm surprised that thing hasn't collapsed into a pile of moldy fluff by now. What do you want me to do, scare it? Some old books she doesn't want to part with. Don't know what I can do with it. It's a radio, I think. Give me just a second, I'm gonna... This thing gets bigger every time I look at it. It's gonna take over the room if she's not careful. I can't touch it. Nothing on there but junk. It's the bedroom door. Must I define intangible? In the interest of domestic harmony, I don't enter her bedroom uninvited. A broken clock. That's way too heavy for me to pick up. Then again, so is a pencil. Just some old papers. Does it want a hug? It's her phone, or used to be. I love the idea, but I'm not really a hands-on kind of guy. It's one of them computer things. Even if I could use that, I wouldn't know how. It's the calendar for last April. I just can't come to grips with it. An article about one of our old cases. What do you want me to do, scare it? It's a poster for a movie called Water Under the Bridge. Give me just a second, I'm gonna add... Don't know why she saves these old articles. She hated working for that rag. Does it want a hug? It's the way out of here. It's a door buzzer. Nope, still a ghost. Still can't pick that up. Got it, Zach? You rang. Ugh, I think I swallowed about a billion germs in that river. Next time you take a dip, keep your mouth shut. Ugh, I think- Next- That's all for now. Yeah. I don't need to- 